Every minute that passes here the Chiromo mortuary is another long wait for relatives of the over 30 bodies that are yet to be identified. The family of Sheila Chiroborno Barno. Three, the family of yes. But time after time, one is identified and another family is in deep pain and grief. <laughs> The government has confirmed that over 100 bodies have so far been positively identified and the process might end on Wednesday to pave way for the final send-off of the victims. Remember we took some fingerprints for confirmation of uh, identities. So, so far we have uh, a total of one, 101 people who have been identified. We are still working on the others which uh, the process is continuing. In the course of the day we will be able to probably, hopefully we will be able to identify all of them. At the Chiromo Mortuary, however, the situation is dire, with anxious relatives losing their patience. The Education Committee of Parliament visited the mortuary to condole with the families and, like other well-wishers, gave their donations while condemning the attack. This committee on education, you know, we are the ones who are in charge of education in Kenya. It is really, really sad that this happened to our young innocent children. And so we, we, we regret that this happened and we are together. The parents of Kenya sacrifice a lot to educate their children to reach them in university. And these evil terrorists know that the strength of our nation, the wealth of our nation, comes from the education of our young people and the empowerment of our people. And they're trying to hit us where it hurts. It hurts, but we will not forget. And we will be very determined to fight them. And we will keep determined to make sure that our education system, which is the best in East Africa, is not not defeated by these evil terrorists. Meanwhile, the government has pledged to foot the mortuary and transportation costs for the affected families, as well as a compensation package of 100,000 shillings for each life lost. Kenya Red Cross Society has already ordered for 142 coffins for all the victims and will also cater for the transport costs to the respective homes for burial. Further, as the government makes the final arrangement, we will provide an initial amount of Kenya shillings, 100,000 per deceased student. The bodies are expected to start leaving Nairobi for burial on Thursday after final identification on Wednesday. Over 100 bodies have been positively identified here at the Chiromo mortuary. The process is slow, but sure, the government is anticipating the process might end tomorrow. Till then, some families are still camping here, waiting eagerly to identify their loved ones. Reporting for Channel One, I'm Ron Cliff, Odie.